Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Grimsby Career Mode here on FIFA 18. As you can tell, I'm still suffering with a bit of flu and stuff, and I'm apologising massively for not putting a video up on Monday, but as you can well imagine, um, I'm, I'm not in the best of shape at the moment. <laughs> Uh, and with the flu and stuff like that, it's making all my like breaks and stuff in my body and stuff ache even more than normal. So I'm like on like more medication, so I'm like out of it a little bit and stuff like that. So um, I do apologise. And today's video, I'm hoping <laughs> won't be too much of a disaster. But there's only going to be two games involved in today's video because I need to go and have a rest or whatever. And I didn't want to like miss any more videos for the week, and um, so um, this is why I've, I'm trying to get this one up today. And um, so bear with me, and um, if I forget anything or stuff like that, then you can obviously understand why. But yeah, we finished off um, last episode where obviously it was a fantastic one. We won um, the Garibald Cup against Manchester United in an um, exciting style in the penalty shootout. We, we then went on and played um, an exciting nil nil no it wasn't, it was boring, nil nil game against Carter. And then we did a um, fantastic in the um, round of 16 um, Champions League. Not only did we um, capitalise on the on the 2 nil from the first leg, but we absolutely stuffed them 3-1 in, in the second leg. So fantastic performance there from the guys. Um, I've then obviously played a few more games and stuff to get up to the, today's video. Um, so I played Millwall, we won that one 2-1. Then played Ful Fulham, um, drew that one 0-0. Um, Sheffield United won that, yeah, 2-1. Um, played Birmingham, beat them 3-0. So yeah, on a good roll at the moment. Um, then we came into um, um, April, play Sheffield Wednesday, and we and we won that one as well, one nil. So we're up to the day, which is going to be Ipswich, um, and then the first leg of the quarterfinals. And as you can see, that's who we've been drawn against. Yes, Inter Milan is who we will be, is who we will be playing. Um, so uh, in the in the in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, um, not too bad a draw to be honest. Inter Milan, um, not as powerhouse as what they used to be. Um, so that should be an interesting game. We'll see how that one that one pans out anyway. Um, now the significance of the Ipswich game is just about um, to reveal itself. So just bear with me. After all those results, yes, as you can see, I'm top of the tree. But Ipswich do have a game in hand, which will then put them back on top um, if they were to beat us. Uh, so. Um, yeah, it's a very significant top of the table clash this one in, in regards of we can pull away a little bit. Well, not pull away, but you know, um, put a little bit of distance between us and Ipswich, um, who are, um, you know, part of that um, pack that are chasing us along with Preston, Redden, and Birmingham City, and possibly Fulham, but I think Fulham are a little bit away, away now. We mathematically still haven't guaranteed, obviously, um, playoff position or anything like that yet. Um, but I'd say that we've pretty much guaranteed ourselves a playoff spot now. Um, and who knows, we might even be able to get into one of these top two positions come the end of the season because there is only um, seven games left. So anything could happen. It's going to be a close run thing by the looks of things. Um, yeah, um, down at the bottom, just to give you an idea, it looks pretty much like you know Bolton and Oxford are, are gone, and, and you might as well say Sheffield United as well. It's too much for them, I think, to claw anything um, back on, on the teams above them. So I think there's those three that are definitely going to be going down, but you never know. Um, so, yeah, today's um, match is against Ipswich, or today's first match is against Ipswich, I should say. This is the team I've decided, going with that 4 1 2 1 2 narrow again. Um, just because it seems to do okay now and again and obviously I can flip around and change stuff as well but as you can see um, the, the side isn't the, the massively the strongest and um, just bearing in mind that that Inter Milan game so I was wondering like my better players for that one um, even though this is obviously a top of the table clash I've still got matches that I can still utilize to get where I need to be in the league whereas the, the Champions League is a, is a once in a lifetime possibly for, for this side, who knows, you never know. So yeah, this is the side that, like I say, that is going to take on um, um, Grimsby. Um, it, not take on Grimsby, Jesus, I'm losing. See, this is, this is medication and stuff like doing this. Take, to take on Ipswich, I should say. So here we go then, guys. 
Here we are live in Portman Road, but it's obviously not Portman Road totally, but you know what I mean, that's obviously where it's switch playing. Okay. Oh, that's a Gog um, intercept. I've actually got him, I'm looking at him as a possible um, transfer target, um, so gotta be careful with him. This skipper case goes out here to this far side to Gibbs. Gets the ball in to find Platt, who heads it against the bar. It's a great effort. Um, it's a good ball in as well. Gibbs now, oh. Well, that's, um, I don't think he expected to hit that. Here's Basagog again. Up against James, and he's pushed that one out. Plays this over to Ungabatu. Basagog. Ungabatu again. Here's Basagog. Shoots. Good save from Belisari. Pushes it out for a corner. Oh, and there's showing that goal decision. It didn't cross the line, but right on it. There it is. He's still going across the line, though. Spence now. Oh, this is nice movement from Ipswich. Rose cut this inside now. We need to be careful here. Basigog, and that's a penalty. Oh, dear. No VR, VAR required for that one. <laughs> Poor old James there. He just, he just literally faced up against him and wasn't, wasn't a good challenge at all. Just used his arm to like pull him to the ground. Went down quite easily, but you know. Oh, and he was unlucky there not to save that. But Hughes has just managed to like just stick that in the bottom corner and Ipswich lead. Lazari was so close to getting to that one though. Right in the corner here. Oh, that was so close to getting that. Inside to Hines. Tries to get this into. Again, they're just not getting anything. In it. They're just taking the balls as like as a stretch, you know, and they're not able to get any power behind it. They need to um, compose themselves a little bit better in the box. Place this in. Oh, that's a poor ball. It was a weak ball, that was. Here's Ungobatu. Long ball through, trying to find Basagog. Oh, and that's given away, and that's a terrible ball, and that's two, surely. No. Oh, wow. We got away with it there. He was just off balance as he hit it, but it's an open goal, and he just put it wide, so... Hmm. We definitely got away with one right there. Oh, and there's a good challenge from Campbell. Those two fighting it out. No one was in the middle for him. Dizel, oh, and dispossessed. Inside is a chance for Basagog. This time, it's surely it's in. He should have scored in the first half. This time, though, he scored in the second. That's 2-0. That just goes to show what it's like to have a striker that can finish where... Obviously, we've got strikers that are on the field right now that just aren't finishing. So, maybe changes required here. So, a couple of changes made. Kolchak's going to go off, Baku going to come on, um, Felix is going to go off, and uh, Moise Keane's going to come on. find it very difficult to break this um, Ipswich defence down. And yet again, another shot from us, and it is just poor, really poor. Changes made by um, Ipswich are shooting today. It's just been very, very poor. Dizel now over the top. Can Moise Keane bring this down? He can, but Webster just comes inside and stops that um, chance again. Skipper case. Kent trying to just find that pass. Oh, and again, they've just blocked it. Well, we've managed to win a corner, but it's just too little too late. You know what I mean? Just, um, and we probably won't get nothing from this corner either. Kemp with it in. And again, blocked. And goes out. And this will probably be the last action of the of the game. Gibbs. Into Hines. Trying to get it across. Not able to. Just can't get anything past him. Now, Ipswich were just far too good in the end. Um... Our players, I mean, I didn't put out my full strongest side, so, I mean, that's going to have a bearing on it. Um, but Ipswich was just too good in the end of the day. In front of goal, um, it was a soft penalty as well to give away, which didn't help. And 
as for our attacking, we got in the positions, we just couldn't finish anything once we were there, and that's been the story of today's match, like, regarding that one. Hopefully, we'll play a lot better against Inter Milan. As you can see, we had most of the chances, but we just, they were just weak, weak shots, even though seven of them were on target, they were just weak, they just didn't trouble the keeper in any way whatsoever, so, um, a well-deserved win for Ipswich, to be fair. Right, so, the second match of today will be um, against Inter Milan, that's coming up soon, guys. Okay then, so um, as I said, much stronger side now to take on um, Inter Milan. Um, uh, you know, this is the normality kind of side, you know what I mean, that you'd expect. A uh, bit of a strange one on the clash of kits, but I mean, there's not much I can do about that one really. I mean, um, hopefully it's not too big a clash. Sometimes you look at this picture and you think, oh, it's going to be a clash, and you get into the other one and it's not as bad, or vice versa. But um, yeah. Um, hopefully it's not too bad, but here we go then, um, off to the San Siro. Cousins gets a little turn there, Chaplin now. Got so many men behind the bar of Inter Milan. Cousins pulls this, but oh, nearly Savage is there. Here's Lorente. Valero, but tackled by Alec. Here's Mazur. Cousins can't get it through in the first chance, but maybe tries with the second. Alec now into Chaplin. Chance here, oh, nearly. Coming forward. Cuts it inside. Back to Cousins. Chaplin, can he get a shot away? No. Dalbert just takes it off his foot. Just as he was about to pull the trigger. Here's Barcuzin. Hits this. Foot going low. The keeper might have been blocked to his view with quite a few players in front of him, but it just wasn't strong enough to go past him. Looking for someone that's free. Alec inside. Chaplin looking for maybe someone to make a, a surge and run. It doesn't seem to be happening right now. Cousins. Here's Chaplin. He's got a good chance here, but he managed to make some space for himself. But Handanovic um, was down quickly yet again. Um, Inter Milan players on him, but he's done well to win that. Gets the ball in. It's not bad. It's going to fall to Cousins. Oh, and Handanovic again. It's just there, Devlin now surging forward. Good chance here. Oh, and he's offside. Here's Nedelev. Oh, and the ball, but it's luckily it's fell to Kleinheisler now. It's a good chance here. He's done well. Finds Chaplin. He goes to the back heel. It's a great chance, surely. Oh, no, he's hit the post. Can you believe it? Oh, my word. It was a lovely little move. Nedelev was in acres of space had the chance, he takes the shot and he hits the outside of the post wow that was the opportunity to get the away goal going to try and catch them on the counter attack here, here's Baku, gone for the ball over the top, it's a great chance here it's Nedlev can he get this ball across, he can't second chance, chance. oh Smith, it's a chance here for Barkusen oh it's going to fall can he get this back, Smith, no blocked again Oh god, there was opportunities there and they just weren't finding the right passes in the box. It was just they like, playing it across and they were picking up the wrong individuals for the for the pass. But that was a great opportunity. Chaplin now to Barkusen. Tries to get it back in, but Dalbert's there yet again. He has been a massive rock at the back for Inter Milan. Gomez trying to win this. Oh, and he's lost out to Savage. And here's a chance here. It's Wampy. But Baku's come across. And is that it? That is it. Yeah, it's finished nil-nil. We had opportunities. Um, but with Handanovic in goal and with Delbert at the back, um, we, we were thwarted. Um, but we didn't concede, and so that's a positive. Uh, just the downside is that obviously we didn't get the away goal and... It could be tough if they get one um, at Blundell Park, so we've got to be careful and wary of that. But there we go, guys. Um, not not the best result. Now, could be to do with my illness like, at the moment. It could have something to do with it, I don't know. But as you can see, Inter really didn't even like trouble us whatsoever. And they were just trying to get maybe the sneaker goal or something, which, you know, for the Inter Milan fans, you'd have been 
really disappointed with your team's performance at home against Grimsby, wouldn't you? But um, we did okay. There wasn't any outstanding performance. Obviously, Kusan's getting out of the match, but um, yeah. I'd say Kusan's probably our better player, yeah, I think that's right um, in that respect. I would have thought that Dalbert on their team, yeah, he gets 7.5. I think he deserves better than that. I think he did a hell of a lot more for them than, than what those scores are showing. It's a weird formation, that as well. Strange one, but as you can see, they were just literally two banks of four, like defending the whole game and at home, it was just bizarre. They were that scared of us, but there you go. Right, let's have a quick look at the, the league table after our defeat to Ipswich. So as you can see, Ipswich um, have gained top spot um, and with that win um, over us. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're in second and there's six games still left to play. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're in, a, we're in a pretty good position, to be honest, and considering you know, the, the, the squad that I've got and the money <laughs> situation that we have, um, I think we're doing all right for the size of the club. Um, but if we don't, you know, I mean, like I say, I wasn't, I wasn't, aim, aim at the beginning of the season was to get in the playoffs. Um, it wasn't to get promotion, I didn't think we would. I um, thought it might be take us maybe two seasons in the championship to do that, um, but we've done over and above our expectations at the moment and it's not over yet so we still could get there and um, hopefully England do well um, against Belgium uh, um, tomorrow which um, if they don't they don't you know what I mean but I think if we do it just shows them at what level we're at you know and um, the two teams we played we should you know should be smashing them anyway so um, it's, it's not it's not a massive um, Marker, as far as I'm concerned, if we'd have beaten Belgium 6 1, then yeah, everyone would have mental then saying, like, you know, wow, you know, this team's actually pretty good, rather than the more going like silly over a 6 1 win over Panama. Not saying it wasn't good, um, it was good, to, it's good to, instead of like, you know, oh god, we've got a nil nil or something, because that's what I thought would happen, you know, knowing what England sides have been like over the past. But no, we're looking good, we're looking confident, and that's the main thing. Um, you know, let's see how far we can go. Um, um, and you know, the, 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 most of the teams in this in this competition, the World Cup this year, are just not living up to expectation. But um, and then did anyone see that um, Sweden Germany game? That was a totally EA scripted match. If you've ever seen one, Sweden were, came out in the second half as if like Angela Merkel had gone into the dressing room and said to the Swedish manager, you know, um, hey, we'll stop you know, funding your country if you let you know let us like get back into the game kind of thing. Not saying that happened, but it just seemed a bit weird how Sweden came out and they just didn't want to do anything in the second half. It was just bizarre, and you can't you know um, say like, oh well, they just ran themselves into the ground. They didn't like you know. Um, I just think it was just a weird way that. Um, it happened, but yeah, it just reminded me so much of an EA kind of scripted match, that's all, but there you go. You take it easy, guys, and um, I'll catch you on the next video, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, it's been a, an absolute pleasure, like, you know, being able to get back on again. Um, so, if you don't mind giving me a like on the on the video, that'd be awesome, and, and if you don't mind just saying, like, you know, that anyone that, that you know that watches FIFA videos, just just say like, hey, yeah, check this guy out, he's not too bad. Um, yeah. Alright guys, take it easy. Catch you next time. Dave from Moomongo Gaming, signing off. Cheers.